for the transportation of heavy cargo from one location to another, using a trailer and a prime mover. One of the most essential factors to consider is the pulling power of your prime mover. This video will demonstrate how to calculate the required pulling force of prime mover based on the cargo's weight. Here are sample images for towing a heavy cargo using prime mover. In this example, you assign to transport the 200 ton cargo from location A to location B. And your current prime mover has max driven axle of 38 ton with ballast counter weight of 20 ton. Cargo is loaded into 16 axle line trailer and the weight of each axle line is 4 ton. Rolling resistance for asphalt is 2 to 3%. Calculate the pulling force of your prime mover if this enough to tow the cargo from location A to location B. From location A to location B. Along this route, you found that there is a existing slope on the road. Example you don't know the percent of the slope. Here is the sample calculation to get the percent of the slope based on slope run and slope rise. See the diagram. To get the percentage of the slope, you need to divide the slope rise to slope run and multiply it to 100. Next. Calculate the tractive force of the prime mover. The driving axles of a truck have the capability to provide a pulling force that ranges from 80% to 90% of the truck's own weight. Providing a sufficient horsepower and the appropriate gear is engaged. For this calculation we consider 80% only of driven axle pulling force. See the calculation. Next, calculate the total load that need to pull by prime mover. By adding weight of cargo, ballast counter weight, prime mover weight and total trailer axle line weight. After getting the total weight, start to calculate the required pulling force by adding the rolling resistance percent and slope percent. Multiply it to total weight. Pulling force required is 22.97 ton. Tractive force of prime mover is more than this pulling force required. Therefore is able to pull this cargo from point A to point B.